After having a great time in San Francisco, we're heading south. That's right, we jumped on Route 1 and we drove about two hours south down to Monterey and Pacific Road. And we're going to show you some of the top sights to see there. Alright, you ready? I'm ready. Alright, let's get into it. First up, make sure you visit Fisherman's Wharf, right in Monterey. It's a popular spot for tourists, with lots of restaurants and shops. Not to mention great views of the harbor. But don't stop there. Right next door, there's another wharf that's a local favorite. There are two restaurants on this pier. The one you see on your left is Lulu's Griddle, a popular breakfast place, and the Sandbar and Grill, which is a very popular spot with locals for lunch and dinner. But there's more. If you walk to the end of this pier, you'll find a fresh seafood market where you can purchase the seafood that just came off the boat. As you can imagine, Monterey is known for its fresh seafood and every restaurant has some great seafood selections on the menu. Another great place to visit when down in Monterey and is uh, Cannery Row. This place is absolutely beautiful too, just like everything else we see around here. So this area of Monterey called Cannery Row is where the factories used to be where they canned fish. And some of the old original buildings can still be seen here. Um, and the aquarium is also in this area too. So if you're looking for the Monterey Aquarium, it's right down here in Cannery Row. So this whole area has been redone. There's a number of hotels here, uh, nice walks along the water, parks, and uh, clearly it's an attraction for locals and tourists alike. Now that's what I call a hidden gem. Now down here you'll also find the U.S. Coast Guard Station of Monterey. You're allowed to walk their dock and you can check out the sea lions. <laughs> and at the end of the pier it's a regular sea lion hangout place. And there's more. Many of the old canning factory buildings have been turned into restaurants and shops. As you can see, this is a popular spot for tourists. Now we love Monterey. But we really loved Pacific Grove, and that's coming up next. Now, Pacific Grove is right next to Monterey, and it has a certain charm of its own. Like it's the place where the Western Monarch butterflies spend the winter. All right, so we're starting our tour of this area at the Monarch Sanctuary here in Pacific Grove. If you don't know it, um, the Monarch butterflies come down here in the winter from the north, uh, to spend the winter season because it's too cold up north. Let's go inside and take a look. The monarch butterflies return here year after year. They arrive around October and November and spend their time here until March when they will head back north. There were several people here enjoying the show. Music 
And while you're here, don't forget to head over to Pacific Row's very own state park, Asilomar. It's located right along the Pacific, and there are walking trails which will give you some magnificent views. So there's a great path here right along the coast. This is just north of 17 Mile Drive uh, in the town of Pacific Grove. And uh, definitely, I don't think this path was here when we came here several years ago, but it's a great path. Look, take a look at this. This path and uh, parking area is uh, right off of Sunset Drive. I'll point to it on the uh, map where it is. But if you're in this area and you do the 17 mile drive, keep going north. Make a left on Sunset Drive and then head out to this area of the peninsula. And uh, you won't be disappointed. I think this is some of the best views of the Pacific Ocean. The path winds along the coast for at least a mile, if not more. And everywhere you look, the views are magnificent. Now, if you don't want to walk the trail, that's no problem. Just drive along the road that's adjacent to it. And along the way, you'll come across several parking lots where you can stop, take a break, and enjoy the view. Just remember, look for Sunset Drive or Ocean View Boulevard. It's the same road that runs right along the coast. And a little further east on Ocean View Boulevard, that's where you'll find the John Denver Memorial, where the singer lost his life in a tragic plane crash here in the water in 1997. Now continue east on Ocean View Boulevard and you'll come to another great spot in Pacific Grove, Lover's Point Park. This is a really, really beautiful little park here right on the water. And there's a beach here. This is a very popular place where people from Pacific Grove go swimming. So Lover's Point was in the news recently. Uh, about a month or so ago, there was a shark attack on a uh, surfer. And he was rescued by some uh, healthcare workers who happened to be in the area. And a lot of the uh, film uh, with those news reports is actually right down here. I'll show you. So Lover's Point is a really nice spot and they have motels here and some restaurants. So you could actually come here, spend a weekend and then there's trails that go all along. The next park over, that's Perkins Park right there and there's a trail from Lover's Point to Perkins Park. So you can come down, spend a weekend, walk the trails, really nice. So we think what we just showed you the area along Sunset Drive and Ocean View Boulevard is a good alternative to the 17-mile drive. Yes, you won't go through Pebble Beach, but we feel that the ocean views are better. And there's plenty of parking and there's walking trails. Plus, the 17-mile drive charges you $11.25 to get in. We hope you enjoyed our look at Pacific Grove and Monterey. Next week, we're going to Carmel. That should be a good one. Until next time, safe travels. Mm -hmm.